Okay, guys, so that's for the instructions. You have a right side and a left side. They're labeled L. The R is on the other side of this one down. Um, what we did is we located on the instructions all the dowel holes. You're going to end up putting the dowels in first. Uh, the dowel holes go all the way through. So you want to make sure the dowels don't protrude out the back. If I flip this down here, you'll see the holes go all the way through. We don't want them. These are universal panels for multiple cabinets. Um, so just make sure you follow those instructions. Get your dowels in the locations where they belong. The next step we're going to do is we're going to be adding the back panel. Um, to these two cabinets. So a unique little trick to this is if you notice right here, these holes are not centered in the thickness of the board. So you have to make sure that you put this board on the correct way so that pin, when this lines up, it should be nice and flush with the back. Keep that in mind when you first put it on. If it doesn't look right, it's probably not right. So we're setting the bottom panel. We've got the same thing on the bottom panel. If you notice, the holes are not centered. So you always want to be, when you put it on the dowels, as flush to, if not just in a hair. You never really want to be sticking out too far. So it's very easy to find out if you're on the correct way, you've got to reverse the panel and put it the other way. So this will be easy enough just to slide right on there. And that's that, it's that simple. Now we're gonna screw it together. These are the dowels, they actually go through the whole side. So you wanna make sure that when you're done, that the dowels are in and they're flush. You don't let them stick out. You can always do it whenever you want to do it. Once you put the side panels on, you're gonna to have to make sure that's done. You see the screws go in very simple. We're now putting the top plate on, same thing, two screws are going to Make sure you're level here and flush. Um, it's not that, once you do, we're showing two people, once you do this with one person or two people, once or twice, it's easy enough on these small cabinets to do with one person. It's probably about a 10 to 15 minute build per cabinet. Uh, when you get into the big like grill bases, the 42s and 48s grill bases, that's going to take two people just because the panels are that much bigger. Guys, this is a great project to do. Uh, it saves a lot of money. It's easy to get in the backyard. They're easy to assemble. 25 year warranty on this. Um, what's really cool about it is that your rain days, we have nothing to do. And you got one of these big outdoor kitchen projects going on. This is a great thing for you guys to do in the shop. Um, get prepped for the next nice day of work to install. Um, guys, this is the substructure of everything we're going to do. Um, like I said, some key takeaways, and you can see right now. The dowels are sticking out, it's just a hair. All you do is tap them back in, just to make sure they, they stay in flush when you do your end panels. Everything's nice and clean. So guys, the instructions are pretty detailed. When you look down here, it'll tell you right here, requires six attachment screws, H3, and a drill. All your bags are labeled H3, H13, H2. They all have labels, so you really can't get it confused. Once you actually follow the instructions, if you take your time, First one, again, take a little bit longer. It should be down about 15 minutes of cabinet. It'll go pretty quick for you. Um, once you do one or two, you're not going to pay attention to the instructions anymore. You're just going to to roll right through it. All right, so guys, another little tip for assembly. Um, we're going to put the back cladding on. You can see this came with the door pack. Um, it's a shell white. So there's these four screws right here, um, two on the bottom, two on the top. What we do is we chase the screws from the inside. Um, it's going to be screw pack H3 on this cabinet. You want to stick the nibs out or the tips of the screws out just a little bit, um, just so you can catch your fingers on it. What you want to do is you use that for an alignment purpose. You can see right here, you have these four holes. So before you just go, let me just stick the panel up there and screw it in. If you stick them in, you can actually hang this panel on the screws, make sure it's aligned, and then you can go ahead and screw the back panel in. So guys, we just assembled the back cladding color onto it. Remember, we do carry these in four colors, a white, a black, a blue, um, and what we call dark ash, like a wood grain gray color. Um, so you see, this would be a solid piece. When your cabinets all go together, the seams will be a nice, clean, nice seam on the cladding. But it's super easy to assemble, super easy to deal with. Just, again, take my notes and let them screws hang out a little bit so you can actually center this piece and make it clean.